Shot from Gerard, blocked. Second opportunity deflected in front, and it is stopped by Berg. Crawley thought she had the opening goal. Smiles from Berg, and she still hasn't given up a goal this season. Oh, man. She almost did. It almost looked like she wasn't sure where it was for a moment there, but good positioning makes the save. Remind you that the successful penalty kill from Boston was presented by Ufos. Down the other way, score! What a snipe from Megara McManus. Just like that, Boston goes up. That was a great shot. There is not a whole lot that any goalie is going to do with a snipe like that. And the Boston Pride back on top to start this game. Just a great play down the boards from the top of the circles, far side, right over the shoulder. Like I said, not too much that uh, not too much that Ives can do on a play like that. Really great placement. Puts it in front, and that's two for Boston. Put home by Wenskowski. Ives' own defender got in her way, and an easy tap in for Boston to make it two. And another Boston Pride player getting their second of the season. That's two for Wenskowski. And here's something interesting. Both of them coming out of UNH. How about that? Yeah, just a, a tough play for Ives on that with the own defender crashing into the net. A great pass from the corner. And Wenskowski, you know, she's not going to miss those. In hockey, it's nothing is ever safe. <laughs> Shorthanded opportunity maybe here. Ives sticks it away. Rebound put in front. Ives robbery. Still loose. Which team is on the power play right now? Boulier. Shot saved by Ives. Rebound is fanned on by McManus. Yeah, so far the best chances on this power play have come from Boston. Great idea. Great chance there. Classic fanned on it. Now puts it in front. Rebound. Score! <laughs> Emily Fluke capitalizes on the rebound left by Burt. And for the first time this season, Caitlin Burt gives up a goal. That's no fluke there. See what I did? <laughs> <laughs> Great job from Emily Fluke. And I mean, truthfully, the play to set it up is really what stands out here. The pass across the front gets the first save by Burt, but that rebound just sitting right there for the taking and Fluke not making any mistake from her knee on the fluke goal, so we'll see if that stands. Misplay here, and it's in! Oh, Burt tried to reach for it and just missed it, and now it's two to two. And I think it was Marchman. Right on cue, it is. Well, speak of the devil, we were just talking about Marchman. A little quieter than we've seen her in the last few games, but a great opportunity. Vlasic gets that puck across. And Marchment just, with the angle on Burke, slides it over, oh, just sneaks it in off that in, that far post. A great play. Way to stick. The other way, Gerard. Back in front, Gerard. Save is made, rebound. Where is it? Referee's looking for it. It's somewhere underneath Burke. What a gorgeous passing sequence between Gerard and Marchment there. Gerard getting not one, but two chances on it. Burt. Coming up with the save impressively. Nice little back and forth feed. One, two. But you see Burt with a great In position. In the zone, Marchman lays it off. Shot here by Crowley, deflected by Marchman. And she scores her second of the period. And it's 3 2 well. Marchman has just found that scoring touch later in this game. She is just crashing the net using that presence, that size. You see her making the play too to set it up and then getting the de little deflection there off the shot from Conway. Nice little dish. Wonder Marchment not out there right now, so. Thrown in front. Dempsey waiting, they score! Boston finds a way to tie it up with under 40 seconds to go. Everybody crashing into Patina. To congratulate her. Yeah, and like I said earlier, Patina led the team last year in points 12. Had a great game so far with an assist, and now this timely goal to tie things up and 
Unless we see some crazy heroics in the two next Two on two. Davis. Still with it. Davis puts it in front. Rebound. Score! It's Patina again at the end of regulation. Now in overtime. Boston comes from behind to get the win. Wow. I mean, it just goes to show you it's all about the timing. Boston struggling through the second. Finding that late goal in the third to force overtime. Keeping that momentum. And they get it there with 90 seconds left. Patina the hero to tie it and to win this game and earn two points for the pride. How about that for Patina? Last week, nothing on the score sheet for her. She was plus one on the weekend. She was sixth in the NWHL in scoring as a rookie in 2020 and an all-star that year. 29 points that season, the most by a Canadian skater in league history. And now today, two goals. One at the end of regulation with the goalie pulled. And the winner with 1.30 left in the overtime period to give Boston another win. They are still.